Hey guys. So this week we're talking about homeostasis. And homeostasis means maintaining balance in your body. So for example, when you go for a run, you're, you're outside, you're running, you're using a lot more oxygen than you have been, your body temperature heats up because of all that heat you're generating in your muscles, and you have to, your body has to adjust and deal with that. Otherwise, you'd get overheated and you'd pass out because you wouldn't have enough oxygen. So I have um, a really cool demonstration of this process of homeostasis for you. In your, in your classwork, you're going to um, have a link to this body control center. And it's a neat program. I'm going to go ahead and launch it so you can see what it looks like and what I'm asking you to do. Um, this is talking about you're going to have to do the job that the body does and control the temperature and, and keep everything functioning when our little character here starts running. So right now, she doesn't feel so good. Right? And it looks like, if you notice on the screen, her heart rate is low because she needs more blood delivery. So we get more blood in her, but now she needs to breathe more because she's using up the oxygen in her blood. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the amount of respiration so that she has a little bit um, more uh, oxygen in her. But if her heart rate's really high, oh my gosh, look, I have to keep adjusting to make sure that she's breathing correctly. Her blood is, her blood vessels have dilated correctly. Her blood sugar is not too low. We don't want her getting like passed out and stuff. So, oh, oh, she's really starting to feel bad. I'm, oh wait, look, I finally got her in balance. Okay, so what I want you to do is just keep playing with this. You're playing with her glucose, her blood sugar levels. Actually, let me just start from the top here. Blood delivery, this is your heart rate. I'm gonna pause this so that she's not feeling bad. Blood delivery is your heart rate, how fast your heart is beating in order to deliver blood all over your body. Your blood is delivering um, oxygen to all of your cells, so you need to breathe more in order to, thought she was paused. Okay, there she goes. She's paused, I think, now. Uh, so you need to breathe more to get more oxygen when you're delivering more oxygen. Blood pressure is how fast, how open your blood vessels are in order to deliver blood. So when you're hot, they open up really, really wide so that you're, you can have lots of blood flowing through. It can go really close to the skin and it cools off. When you're cold, they contract to keep all the warmth inside. So blood vessel, we're talking about, is it dilating, getting bigger, or is it decreasing and getting smaller? Body temperature, one way that you control your body temperature is to sweat. So sweat is going to reduce your body temperature. When you get too hot, you start to sweat. That's so your body can cool itself off. And then your glucose level, that's how much blood sugar you have. So if you haven't eaten in a really long time, you don't have enough energy to fuel your cells, there's no glucose in your body, that's what your cells use for energy. So your um, glucose level determines if you're able to produce enough energy to keep running and keep going. So, again, your job is to adjust all of these, um, these actions, these activities that are taking place in the body. Your body does it automatically. You are constantly adjusting your body temperature. You can go outside and run and you start to sweat. You don't have to think about, oh, I'm getting hot. I better go start sweating now. Your body does it automatically. This uh, little demonstration is going to help you to see that process in your body. And it is a constant adjustment. It's hard to get it right. But when you get it right, she'll start to run. So play with this as long as you need to to understand the processes involved. And then you'll go and answer the questions on the Google Doc to help make sure you understand what you were seeing here. Please let me know if you have any questions or any problems. We'll talk to you all later.